guys it's Stacy and we are still on our road trip we are still in Alabama we are at a place called Anniston Alabama and behind me is a hotel that we're staying at tonight that is said to be haunted it is I believe it's pronounced the hotel finale I could be wrong but this house was the original house built on this property back in 1888. And they added this to make it the hotel. But what we came for is said to roam mainly in the hallways of this house. Some of the people who work here and some of the um, guests have talked about different occasions where things have happened that um, they suspect your spirits or ghosts. So we're going to check that out. Okay guys, this is inside the home that is said to be haunted and it is beautiful. They have it fixed up really nice. Somebody's playing the piano over there. This little area you can sit out here and it's all glassed in. table. You can definitely tell that parts of this house are old. It looks like it has a lot of the um, same work in it. This little room's pretty too with the stained glass. This looks like a dining room, I guess. Hmm. And they do serve breakfast in here for the guest of the motel. And it's open to anybody who is staying at the motel can walk through the house and look at it. I know a lot of this stuff is more modern. But there are pieces that tend to me look like it's some of the original work. Streams. I guess they have all these tables set up in the different rooms for um, the guests to eat breakfast. There's another fireplace. Walk back here and I guess they have all these. I guess they have all these tables set up in the different rooms for um, the guests to um, the guests to eat breakfast. It's another forest. It's another fireplace. Walk back here and walk back here and got this big beautiful tapestry on the wall. That hangs down. That looks open to me. And there's the fireplace. The light. For all you men, there's a big book on the wall. <laughs> Look at these old doors.
Okay, we're gonna come back over here in a little while. Look, there's a kitty cat out there. We're gonna come back over here in a little while, but um, the cat's missing half its hair. Right now, we're just here looking around. This must be where the breakfast buffet is set up. Good morning, welcome to our breakfast buffet. And I've got a desk over there. And it's across from the stairs. Yeah, there's... I guess all they use it for really is to um, serve breakfast anymore to the guests. This is where the breakfast is at. See how they set everything up here. It's a buffet that's free for um, anyone who stays in any of their rooms. So, you see that it's a good sized buffet and people are bragging about it. And they definitely like the silver. But it does look fancy. It's a pretty place. Somebody in the room with the piano, so we'll check that out in a minute. I'm gonna walk up these stairs and be nosy. I know that the guest rooms that stay here are up these steps, but I wanna see. If that is where I hear most of the homies come from the homies come from but they ask us you know check out that light hmm. pictures kind of here the Kirby Suite. The Wilson Suite. Look at this wall. These are like little tiles they put in. That's pretty neat. Nicole Suite. Sweet, like a tower sweet or something. I didn't notice that this came down here. Hmm. 
this is a very neat place. Guys, this is the room with the piano. And we know it hurts. Because there was a little boy in here playing a little while ago. Oops. I can't remember it. Not Mozart. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty neat place, but I think we're gonna come back after it gets dark and see if we can find out and back after it gets dark and see if we can find out anything over here and do a little bit of investigation of our own. Let's see what do a little bit of investigation of our own. Let's see what happens. I don't really know a lot of the stories. I will look it up and tell y'all more, but I want to bring you over here just get don't really know a lot of the stories. I will look it up and tell y'all more, but I want to bring you over here just get a, a little glimpse into it and see what all they had. It's a beautiful home. Definitely it's a beautiful home. It's a beautiful home. Definitely it's a beautiful home. So this wood and like these I think you know it's hard to tell I don't know if they came when they originally built the house if these were on here in this room I don't know if these fireplaces are new but a lot of these old doors that pulled out that I can't pull out let's see if this one Well, it's supposed to pull out. I don't know how you do it, but they pull out of the wall and close. Those are, I think, those are probably pretty old doors. They have um, put in central heat in there. Hey guys, I know I'm looking like a hot mess right now, but it has been a crazy day. However, we are at the hotel for now. Still can't tell you how to say it, but we have a room and it is an awesome room. I want to show y'all guys where we're staying. So, the door. Y'all see the door? Okay, so you're coming in this way. And we're going to skip past the bathroom because it's cool. There is our beds. Y'all excuse our mess. We've been laying around kind of throwing stuff, working on videos, doing different things. But the room itself is really pretty. It was very clean when we got here. I'm not sure what happened. Usually me and Patty are pretty clean, but... We've got all of our stuff scattered everywhere. You can tell Patty's been working here. I'm over here. Got all my stuff charging up so we can go out tonight and investigate this place. We got a closet. And then this is the bathroom. I love this bathroom, guys. I think this is awesome. It's got a light over the shower, and it's got all this beautiful tile work, glass, the old shower head. I think it's pretty cool. And then, of course, you've got the turlet, as John says it. And then the mirror and all the other stuff. I really think this room's a nice room. I haven't 
I haven't even looked out to see what our view looks like. To be honest, I have no idea what the view looks like from outside our window. Let's see. Not fantastic. Just a building. But this is in downtown Aniston, which I don't really know how big downtown Aniston is or how big Aniston is. I had actually never heard of it until we decided to come out here and explore this hotel. So I'm not really sure, but um, I know the house that belongs to this motel was in 1888. So a lot of these buildings and stuff that are around here are probably very old too. But we're gonna go out and explore in a little while, just waiting on it to get dark. Patty ran out to grab us a bite to eat for dinner, and I stayed here because I had comments from y'all I have not answered in like forever, so I went through, I haven't had time to respond like I normally do, I try to get most of them, and um, I had to just kind of heart a lot of them because being on the road we just don't have time. I also need to do a shout out on this video because I was supposed to do it like, oh, six or seven videos ago, probably. I'm looking for the names of everybody that um, had asked me about a shout out. I don't normally do shout outs, but these were extenuating circumstances because I want to shout out everybody. I want to shout you all out. So, I don't normally do them because I just feel it take too long to say everybody's names. So anyway, I want to say a huge shout out to Jennifer Diaguro. Jennifer Diaguro, I hope I'm saying your last name right. And I also want to say a big shout out to Amy Rao. They know why I'm shouting them out, but shout out to both of them. And while I'm talking to y'all about this stuff, I wanted y'all to check out a friend of mine's channel. His name's Blake. He is with Left Behind Times. That's the channel name. He's an urban explorer, and he goes into very old buildings and um, explores these buildings. And when he got into this, he was not into the paranormal at all. However he started hearing things and things started happening so he does pick up things now his sole purpose is not going in there to investigate he goes in there to find out you know what's in these buildings that's been left behind and um but he does pick up some paranormal activity he's fairly new to the youtube world so go in there tell him stacy sent you and subscribe to him and check him out because i think you'll enjoy his channel if you like the urban exploration side of things he's from georgia so he's a georgia buddy and um he's done some pretty neat stuff so i think y'all will like him all right guys well I guess that concludes this part of the video, and now we are on to the next. Originally, it was a house that was built back in 1888 by a Colonel John McClearoy. McCleary, I believe. McClearoy. Anyway, he was a lawyer, and he came to this town because it was starting to thrive, him and his wife, and they built this big Victorian home that I'm fixing to show you. They ended up living there till he died, which was only sadly three years later. And the wife stayed there from 1988 to 1920 when it was sold at a public auction. Now, the story is that this place is haunted and it is haunted by Mr. and Mrs. McClaroy, McCleary, McClaroy, sorry. <laughs> anyway, it says that their spirits roam this, um, home because this was the last place they were together and was happy and it is beautiful i want to show y'all and this is the side of the house 
and what they've done was this was the original house this building back here was the carriage house later on this was sold to a university here in Alabama they purchased it and then the town of Aniston bought it because it was the last one of these Victorian homes that um, they wanted to keep it in the town keep it preserved keep it like it was so they bought it purchased it remodeled it but the fascinating thing to me I think is the fact that from the time this house was born until 1980 something um, only three families had lived in here so in 19 in sometime during the 1980s is when the last tenants passed away and um, the university ended up buying it and then they sold it to the town of Aniston and now they run it as a hotel if you look at this place it is gorgeous I did take some video earlier during the day and some pictures so I could show y'all what it looks like during the day and at night now they claim that the restaurant is the haunted part but the sad thing is the entire bottom floor is fixed up like dining rooms and it's really kind of hard to tell what was the restaurant at one time and I'll show you where I'm assuming is the restaurant it's over on these glass windows used to be a porch but they've glassed it all in and they've set tables out there They said that the colonel actually got this property because it was the highest hill in Aniston and that he could look over and see the other mountains and look down on the town and he enjoyed the view and that is the view he basically saw of course probably a lot busier now than it used to be <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm on the other side of the house now, closest to the restaurant area where um, they believe that the spirits of Mr. and Mrs. McLeroy actually stay. And we're going to see if we can make any contact with them. So if there's anybody out here who wishes to speak to us, you can do so through this little box. We would really like to talk to you. Hello, is anyone out here with us? Me? Can you tell me your name? Do you live here? Have you ever lived here? Did something happen to you here? My name is Stacy. 
Can you send my name? What year did you live here? How old are you? Are you attached to this house? Do you like people to come and visit? We must act it. Really? <laughs> well, I appreciate you talking to me. Thank you. There's somebody watching coming out here, so I'm going to cut the box off and put that up. Because like I said, they weren't too keen on us being here to film. see it too well but that's it that's where they used to keep their um, horses and now it is the registration for the hotel and also it is um, a bar they sell drinks in there. This window's up top, guys. Now on the third floor is a ballroom, but we can't go up there. But those top windows remind me of the Amityville Horror. Crazy, huh? guys sorry about that somebody come out and said something we're not supposed to film so i just want to do my outro and tell y'all that i hope y'all like this video hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like subscribe as always and please do all that youtube stuff all right gotta keep it short and simple love you guys i will see you on the next road trip Bye.